The idea of equality is a total piece of garbage. In every form possible. When you think of England, what do you call it? You call it England or the United Kingdom. When you think about the states, you call it USA, America, or United States of America. The EU, European Union, United Nations, United States of Arab. Why are all these countries called United, yet the American people are looking for equality? I am not equal to a woman. I bear rationality, responsibility, respect, loyalty, and caring. These are five traits women do not bear, so therefore they are not my equal. I do not give birth, I do not menstruate, I do not have an emotional tour for a week every month. I am not a female. Do not even compare me to a female which is already lower than me. I am not equal to somebody who is lower than me. No man is equal to a woman, and no woman is equal to a man. So equality is a pipe dream. It is a delusion. It is a fantasy, and it is actually a control substance to use over humanity. You can control humanity by changing it to equality. Before the 1970s showed up, we lived in unity. Since the 70s, we have been going over to equality, and you could see the entire nation just collapsing because of it. Equality is a scam, just like feminism is a scam. Let's look at the 1950s right now, and we're going to look at what women were being oppressed in. Voting rights, as I've explained in other previous videos, I am against female voting, not because I don't like women, but for the fact that they do not die for their vote, like men do, like men did. Go to any war memorial that you know of, and all you will see is thousands of men's graves. No female. This is why females do not have the right to vote. They should not have the right to vote. Females in the 1950s not being able to seek employment. Women in the 40s and the 30s and the 50s were very proud women. More proud than 2014. None of them had self-esteem issues. And none of them had disrespect towards men. And at the same time, they were very happy, proud mothers, wives, and girlfriends of other mothers and wives. They lived their lives, they did what they did, and men did what they did, and men went to work and men supported. It was perfect. There were very little flaws in it. As a matter of fact, the only flaw in it, in that entire system of unity, was the fact that unity could no longer be protected because the person who protected it got shot in the head. Mr. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy protected the world of unity. The globalists stepped in after they killed John F. Kennedy and started bringing in the feminazis, their, their equality, and their insanity. It's very easy to lure a woman over to the dark side. It is up to men to keep women from falling over to the dark side, which is nowadays an impossible task. Back to the 1950s. The oppression of women did not exist whatsoever. It never existed. Because in World War I, World War II, and in between those times, women were seeking employment. While the men were fighting overseas, women were back home creating ammunition. While the men were recovering from their battle scars and battle wounds, the women were nursing them back to health. Even during times of war, men and women lived in unity, and they lived happy, productive lives. The United, the United States of America was a prosperous nation back in that time. Look at 2014. 
the heart of the nation, Detroit City, has been ripped right out of the chest of America. America is dying. It has no heart left. The heart has been pulled out of its system. You all have a choice. Go back to unity or keep fighting for the delusion of equality. History shows you how strong unity is. It never failed. The only thing that happened was the protector of it got shot in the head and equality came in. Think about this, folks. For thousands of years, unity was the only way that humanity knew how to work things. And it never failed. It worked perfectly. The divorce rates were very low because women back then chose carefully about who they were going to marry, who they were going to have children with, and who they were going to procreate and, and have sex with. They thought about it. They didn't just go on impulse. They didn't just sleep with a guy because he bought her a drink. There are only two reasons why the feminists do not like the 30s, 20s, 40s, and 50s. The first reason is they were not accepted. Nobody wanted feminism back then because everybody knew, and even today in 2014, you could ask any person on the street, what does feminism mean to you? And they will still say it. Oh, lesbians. So even though that feminism was created in the 60s, you understand that? In the 60s, that's roughly 55 years ago. People today in 2014 still know and still call it a lesbian movement because back then it was created by the lesbians. So no matter how hard les the lesbians have tried to hide the fact that it's a lesbian movement, people still know. And that's this world for you in the sense of you could tell a lie, but lies always get exposed. Nobody was really rooting for feminism when it first came out in the first place. Men were like, okay, fine, give women equal rights, whatever, yeah, just get them off our backs, whatever. Just give them what they want. Fuck off, women, you know. Go get your equal rights if you want to. Back to the second reason why feminists do not like the 30s, 40s, and 50s. It's because of sexual pro uh, promiscuity. Back in those days, women were very covered up. They hid their cleavage. They made sure that their dresses weren't too short on the legs. They were very, uh, well, the disgusting feminists would call that prudish. But that's not what I would call it. I would call it uh, protecting herself from predators out on the street. Uh, I can't think of the word right now. It's not distinguished. It's the other one. Uh, fuck, I made a video about it last week. I can't think about the name anymore. Uh, anyways, the reason why feminists exist today is because they fed women's egos, but that's not never been the true goal. The true goal has always been for female domination and lesbian acceptance and gay marriage. You can lie about this as much as you want to and think that it's not about that, that it's about equality, but you're just lying to yourself because there's never been a truer equality in this world until the moment feminism stepped up. We had equality. You all turned your backs on it. You all said, okay, let's go through this fake equality. When we already had equality. Unity is equality. Because in unity, you respect each other. Because you need each other. You need each other to complete tasks. One is stronger, one is smarter, one is faster, one is longer, and one is taller. They all had their benefits and their perks, so you needed each other. And in that needing each other, you respected each other. And because you respected each other, you all lived in harmony and in unity.